Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial. This is our partner 43. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how hooks executes according to its role. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So in the last video session guys, we had discussed about our hook points something called pre underscore controller post underscore controller underscore constructor and post constructor sorry post controller now this are these are the definitions of these hook points like pre controller executes it is called immediately prior to your controller before being called at this point all the classes security checks and routing have been done this hook point is called before loading our controller this hook point will be called after a controller is started but before any method call and the last hook point is called after the method execution so we will see all these hook points in action so back to our editor let's say that we are going to use make use of our default controller and the default controller if I back to application folder controllers and this is our welcome how can we de de detect that this is our default controller if I back to routes as we can see that default controller is welcome so that's why we have open welcome.php so get rid of all these comments and let's say that inside this index method I'm going to comment this line first and let's say that echo this is method call of let's say welcome controller now if I save this file and also if I make in h4 tag so copy this text write in h4 and this is our h4 tag so if I save this file back to browser reload this page this is our statement this method basically says that it is executing inside this welcome controller now we are going to use our C actions of our hook points so first of all we have to enable that go to config folder open config.php file and search about hooks press enter and press enter this is about enable hooks we need to convert this value from false to the true so let's say true value after saving that close this file first go inside hooks folder right here inside this hooks folder I'm going to create a file and let's say that this file is something called our hook let's say my underscore hook or something let's say my hook dot php now inside this my hooks dot php I'm going to create or define our hook points okay sorry hook methods so let's start declaring those so class let's say my hook extends let's say ci underscore controller this is the simple syntax actually we have seen multiple times where where we had defined about the controllers in code igniter now inside that we are going to make some methods so a public function method let's say run before controller now this is the method now inside that I'm going to write a simple statement so inside h4 tag let's h4 let's I I'm called right before controller execution okay now this method we are going to use or we are going to bind with our something let's say pre underscore controller so back to editor copy and paste this method pasting it here and let's say run before or let's say run after controller but it says something before method so I call right up after controller right after controller execution but before method called so let's say method called 
now if I save this file copy again this method so if I copy this method pasting it here and let's run after controllers underscore method now I am called it's I am called right after controllers method execution now all we have defined three different methods inside this class called my hook this is class file basically we have made inside hooks folder now we are going to bind all these methods with our hook points so how can we bind that for that open up a file inside config folder we have a file something called hooks.php open that now we are going to define our hook points right here so if I get rid of all these comment section execution of our controller now inside that we need to pass something called class so the class we have defined with the name something called my hook so if I copy go here pasting it here this is our class name next we have to define our function name so function we are going to execute the function right here something called run before controller so copy and paste so if I make some spacing now next parameter we need to attach something called file name so the file we have made to run our hook point something called myhook.php so this is myhook.php and the final parameters we are going to attach something called file path and this file basically we have made inside hooks folder so go here and let's say file path this file basically we have inside this hooks folder so if I save this file go to browser reload this page as we can see that before calling this statement as we know that this statement comes from a welcome index method this method will be called or the controller called after this hook point something called pre underscore controller so the statement says that it is called immediately prior to a controller being called obviously we have seen that this is our controller call and this is our hook point call now next back to editor let's say that hook we are going to attach something called post controller and something we have called constructor so just get rid of that and pasting it here okay now next I'm going to pass some parameters inside this array and the same parameters just copy all these things and pasting it here but remember we have made the method of this copy I'm going to here and pasting here inside this post controller constructor the name clears is that it called before the constructor initialization before any method call of any particular controller so save this file go here reload this tape as we can see that this is our controller call before controller we have called our I am called before this is pre controller and this is our post controller constructor it is also called before controller because at this point controller initializes but the constructor method didn't call now back to editor now here we are going to use something called post controller so if I get rid of these things and the method that we have made something called run after controllers method copy and pasting it here save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that this is the execution right after the execution of all the methods of the controller so by making three methods inside 
our controller myhook.php this is hook points definition and we have successfully linked inside this hooks.php file we understood about that how can actually our hook points execute what are their rules now let's say that we are going to pass some parameters inside this method something called run after controllers method so how can we pass parameters from this hooks.php file to any of the controllers method so for that we have a key something called parameter params okay inside this we are going to pass something called array inside this array let's say that we are going to pass something called name let's online web tutor and if I pass email address so let's email online web tutor hub at gmail.com now if I save this file we know that we have successfully passed our parameters to this method so back to our method let's say that we are going to receive all the parameters inside this params variable so let's print R because this is an array that's why we need to use of print R to print all the data of this array so let's say params save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that we have an array of parameters something called name and the email which we have passed from this file to this method so successfully guys we have implemented and see all the actions of this hook points you can use this is our simple video demonstration about echoing statement but this is not all about echo statement you can make your own functionality right before execution of any controller prior to before any constructor call or after method call you can make your code or logic right inside these methods and you can call all these methods to any of your hook points so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop a comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day